we'll go over the overbooking problem and to answer all the questions in this problem we need to have access to a binomial calculator and you can use any there are plenty of them um, I will show you how to use StatCrunch and uh, I will we'll Google some other binomial calculator online I'll use a free one uh, uh, but let's take a look at this problem uh, let's read it so we operating a 50 seat uh, airplane on a particular route and uh, we initially sell 50 uh, tickets uh, but the probability of individual passengers showing up for flight is 89 percent that means um, out of 100 89 only 89 will show up so 11 will not and um, let's work out the case when only 50 tickets are sold and if we let x be the number of passengers who showed up for the flight then x um, becomes the number of successes in 50 Bernoulli trials where each trial is us looking at each individual passenger and seeing whether they go and show up or not and the probability of success is 89 percent so to answer the first question we choose binomial here n is the number of tickets we sold and p is the probability of success now we want to find the probability that the flight is not full so is not full what does full mean full means all 50 people showed up so is not full means not everybody showed up so less than 50 people showed up but because this inequality is less than or equal to uh, strictly less than 50 means at most 49 people showed up so this is the expression for the probability that the flight is not full and to answer this question we're going to have to now open some calculator uh, and I'm going to use um, step crunch and I'm going to open this binomial calculator we're going to enter all these parameters and all you have to do really here is to set up this inequality and uh, find this probability notice that less than or equal to 49 is exactly the same as strictly less than 50 the, the probability will be exactly the same so this is the answer and how do we find the expected value of the number of passengers who show up for the flight so next time when we sell 50 tickets how many people do we expect to show up that is actually a simple computation the formula is um, the expected value is equal to np but in our case n is uh, 50 so all we have to do is simply multiply 50 by 0 0.89 and the answer is 44 and a half um however 44 and a half it's not the answer when we're talking about passengers so we're going to run the answer to the nearest whole number and uh, therefore the answer is 45 so out of 50 people we expect only 45 to show up now what will be actually i misentered so 45 goes here but if we expect 45 people to show up out of 50 tickets that are sold how many empty seats do we expect we expect five empty seats which is 50 minus 45 which makes sense 50 tickets 45 showed up five didn't we have five empty seats now so what that means is when we sell 50 tickets we expect five empty seats and one solution to this problem and it is a problem because you don't want to fly with empty seats you want to operate at the maximum capacity one solution to this problem is to sell more tickets than there are seats on the plane so and this practice is called overbooking so even though we have only 50 tickets i'm sorry we only have 50 seats on the plane selling 50 tickets will result in five empty seats we're going to sell three more tickets so what's the total amount of tickets that we sold for the next flight 50 plus 3 53 but the probability of each passenger showing up did not change it's still 89 percent and now once we start selling more tickets than there are seats on the plane we were interested in the probability that more people than we can carry 
will show up for the fly. So more than we can carry means more than what number? We, even though we sold 53 tickets, we still have only 50 seats. So more people than the plane can carry will show up is the same as the probability of y being greater than 50. And to find this probability, we're going to open binomial calculator and we're going to enter the new parameters. We sold now 53 tickets and we're going to enter this uh, uh, inequality as strict for discrete when the variables inequality matters. And this is the answer. So what it means is that 6% uh, of the time we're going to have a problem meaning we're going to have more people showing up for the flight than we can carry. Notice how this probability is exactly the same as the probability that more than or 51 people will show up. Um, and that's again the result of the fact that probability um, inequality matters when talking about discrete random variables. So 6% of the time we will have to deal with the situation where more people that we can carry showed up. However, the other 94% of the time will be getting money, extra profits, or selling extra tickets, which in theory should be enough to handle 6% um, of the times when we have an issue. So uh, I would hope everything is correct. That's right. And let's do uh, another example. Uh, we this actually is the same example. So we would like to, let's see, there you go. There's a new uh, five seat. Uh, let's look for something more realistic. Oh boy. There you go, 117 Airbus. Um, let's go real quick through the solution. So 117 tickets sold, that means we have a sequence of 117 Bernoulli trials. So we have a binomial uh, distribution um, with n equals 117 and probability of success is 91. Here we're looking for the probability of x being less than or equal to 116. That's what it means the flight is not full. And to find this probability, we are going to enter these parameters in stat crunch. But this time I'm also going to, by the way, what we just saw, that means there's absolutely no chance that less than 51 people show up for the flight. And you can play with this calculator. So what are the chances that less than 100 people will show up? 3%, right? What, what, what is the probability that uh, more than um, 110 people will show up? 16%. So we can answer all these probability questions, but the one we're interested in is this one. And there is... 99.99 actually if we, if we have to round this this just becomes one so there's almost no chance that we're going to fly full an airplane big as airbus a 380 there's absolutely no chance so what this means we are always going to have at least one empty seat so but what i want to do here in addition to using step branch i just want to show you that hey you always have access to these binomial calculators. Just Google one up. Binomial calculator. And find some. So let's... Uh, there's too many of them, I guess. So, But let's just pick the top one. And let's see. It's going to... Yeah, this, not, this doesn't look good. Let's open this one. That doesn't look good either. Hold on. Let, let, let's... Yeah, it seems like huh, you get what you paid for. Uh, Stat crunch seems to be the best one as it also provides the um, probability histogram probability distribution histogram but um, but let's see let's see what's going to happen if i enter probability of success 0.91 number of trials is 117 and number of successes uh we're interested in what 116 so if we enter all of this 
Um, it doesn't let you pick which probability, but it gives you just all probabilities. So because inequality matters, you see uh, the probability of x being less than 116 is not the same as probability of x being less than or equal to 116. But of these five answers that it gives it, you, you can pick one that we're looking for. So it's this one. So the point is, there are many uh, calculators online that can do this job, but uh, um, Steph Crunch is not the bad one, it's not the worst one. So, um, and based on what I've seen, it seems like to be the best one right now. So um, the expected outcome, the expected number of people showing up is 106, so if we round it. So if you look at this number, if you're a manager and you analyze these numbers, what does this tell you? It tells you that if you expect only 106 people to show up, that means you're going to have 11 empty seats. You expect to have them. Sometimes you're going to have more, sometimes you're going to have less, but you expect 11. And what does that mean? That means we can start selling more tickets than there are seats on the plane. In this case, we're going to sell six more tickets. And six more tickets means we still have a binomial random variable, but now the number of trials is equal to the number of tickets sold. And what does six more means? when you only have 117 seats, that means you're now selling 123 tickets. But the probability of people showing up does not change. Um, so that's your new binomial random variable. And to find the probability that more passengers will show up than the plane can carry, that means we're looking for the probability of Y being greater than the number of seats on the plane, which is 117. So let's go to our binomial calculator here. We can use this one, I guess. Let's try this one. Probability of success is 0.91. Enter the number of successes. Uh, 17. Enter the number of trials, 123. Yeah, this just computes this single formula. It doesn't do inequalities. Not a good calculator. Um, Let's go back to this one. This one was fine, right? So let's just change this 117 to 123. And the number of successes this time is 117. Let's recalculate everything. And the one of these five answers that we're interested in is this one. So we did it. Let's go check our work with stuff crunch. Um, 123 greater than 117 and the answer is exactly the same so let's submit and we got the full credit if you have any questions uh, let me know